Anime Recap Tier, today I'm going to explain a supernatural action anime called Beelzebub. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In Ishiyama High, a school infested with delinquents, a first-year student named Oga Tatsumi faces a second-year student nicknamed Abe the Killing Machine. He seems scary enough for an opponent, but Tatsumi himself is also nicknamed the rampaging demon ogre of Kata Junior High, his previous school. The spectators notice Tatsumi sweating too much. Soon enough, he becomes so wet that it's too much water to be called sweat. It turns out a baby boy is relieving himself on his head. Abe the Killing Machine disregards this and starts attacking Tatsumi. Before he can land a blow on him, Tatsumi punches him in the face while reprimanding the baby at the same time. He says to the baby, Does my head look like a urinal to you, you brat? It is revealed that Tatsumi is a juvenile delinquent raising a baby through strange circumstances. And this baby is no ordinary baby. The baby clings to Abe, and when he notices that he's not Tatsumi, he starts electrocuting him. Tatsumi relays to his friend, Furuichi Takayuki, how he ended up with a strange baby. According to him, he was beating up a bunch of guys near a river when he saw a big old man floating on the river. The other guys were so scared by this unusual sight that they all ran away as soon as they saw him. Being the kind young man he is, Tatsumi rescues the old man and drags him out of the river. Then, for some reason, he splits the old man in half and out came the baby. The old man seemed totally fine after being split in half too. After this, he launches himself back to the river and floats away. With the old man gone, Tatsumi is left with the baby. He tried his best to cheer the baby up, but made scary faces instead. The baby seems entertained enough by Tatsumi's scary faces that he becomes attached to him. If someone else pulls him away from Tatsumi, he electrocutes them. Takayuki learns this the hard way after he pulls the baby away from Tatsumi. And kids, that's how I met your Tatsumi ended up with a baby. There you go. Pretty bizarre, huh? While passing through the hallways at school, two students are fighting. Tatsumi reproves them, asking them to lower their voice down, or else the baby will cry and electrocute them. Despite his best efforts, the baby still cries and hits them with his electricity powers. Tatsumi and Takayuki arrive in class with their bodies almost burned to a crisp. Their classmates become wary of them. Tatsumi tells Takayuki that the only thing they can do for now is to keep the baby distracted. Takayuki opposes this, telling him not to drag him into this mess. Tatsumi asks him to quickly find something that can grab the baby's heart. He replies that they attend Ishiyama High, the worst school in the entire country, and that they're 120% grade A delinquents. How will he be able to find something that a baby could possibly like in this hellish place of a school? While the two are talking, the baby is starting to get annoyed or maybe bored. The other students in the class have a commotion, asking why Tatsumi would bring a baby to school. The noise they make annoys the baby, and Tatsumi asks for Takayuki's help in making the baby preoccupied. First, he draws a character from a kid's show, but the baby doesn't like it. Next, he shows him a stuffed toy, but the baby doesn't like it either. In the end, the baby electrocutes the two of them and the entire class. Tatsumi and Takayuki make their way to the school cafeteria. Tatsumi plans to let the baby eat to his heart's content, saying that a full belly eventually makes one feel sleepy. He intends to return the baby inside the old man while asleep. When they arrive at the cafeteria, a rowdy crowd is already fighting over the last piece of yakisoba bread. The baby interferes with this fight by getting a hold of the bread and then tossing it away, causing many students to come running after it. The baby seems to enjoy this sight of students running after a piece of bread, desperate to have their fill. That day, Tatsumi and Takayuki are hanging out in Takayuki's room. Tatsumi plans to hand over the baby to Takayuki, but he declines. There's no way he would want to take care of such a freaky and dangerous baby. Tatsumi makes a scary face in hopes of scaring the baby, but he instead likes it. Tatsumi comments that the baby is totally attached to him. Then out of nowhere, a woman wearing a gothic maid outfit appears through the window and says that there's no way the master will get attached to the likes of him. She adds, Die, gutter trash! Ooh, we got a feisty woman over here. Takayuki is surprised to see some woman come out of nowhere and ask her who she is. On the other hand, Tatsumi is mad at being called gutter trash and demands that she come down and face him. The woman comes down and says, Now master, come here. Hilda is here to take you home. It seems the woman named Hilda is there to take the baby home. Now it should solve Tatsumi's problem, right? Unfortunately, the baby, Hilda's master, has already taken a liking to Tatsumi and won't even let go of him. Tatsumi has a smug look on his face, feeling proud that the baby clings to him rather than her. As Hilda and Takayuki try to get the baby off Tatsumi, a commotion ensues. 
Takayuki accidentally touches the baby's private part, and he ends up electrocuting everyone. After they have all recovered from this, Hilda formally introduces herself as Hildegard, the baby's maidservant demon. Datsumi and Takayuki are surprised to hear the word demon. Hilda explains that the baby is the future king of the demons. The baby's name is Kaiser de Parana Beelzebub IV. In other words, the baby is the demon lord. Of course, this comes as a shock to the two guys. Hilda says that it seems Tatsumi has been chosen as the demon lord's father. Since the demon king is too busy, he asks Hilda to take his baby to the human world, find some human to raise him, and have him destroy humanity. According to her, she has to come to the human world to search for a human suitable to become her young master's parent. Suddenly, the old man from where the baby came from enters the room. Weird people just keep showing up in Takayuki's room. Hilda introduces the old man as the dimensional transference demon, Arandaron. Arandaron explains that he is a demon that can transfer people and things between dimensions. He shares that in order to move the young master from the demon world, he floated down the river. And while half unconscious, he saw Tatsumi standing and laughing heartily while humans groveled before him. He was convinced that he could leave the young master in his hands. Despite having the honor of being chosen as the demon lord's parent, Tatsumi still refuses. This ticks Hilda off, and she brings out her sword. Tatsumi and Takayuki end up running away from her, with Takayuki crying about Tatsumi paying for repairs the whole time. Hilda chases after them using her demon strength and powers. They end up in a big cat and mouse game throughout the town. In the end, Hilda is able to catch up to them. Hilda has Tatsumi in a bind with her blade, just a few tiny inches away from his face. Hilda manages to scratch Tatsumi's face with her sword. As a drop of his blood falls on the young master's face, the tiny demon lord becomes so mad that he throws a massive tantrum, producing an even bigger range of power. The power has become so big and difficult to handle that Takayuki tells Hilda to stop it. But Hilda admits that even she could not handle such a massive tantrum from her master. Tatsumi, on the other hand, manages to prevent this from turning into an even bigger disaster. Hilda is amazed to see the effect Tatsumi has on her young master. Just when things are about to turn out okay, a nearby steel tower collapses and falls down in the tiny demon lord's direction. Tatsumi holds the baby in his arms, and in an exciting turn of events, he resonates with the tiny demon lord's power and together they destroy the steel tower. Hilda asks herself just who Tatsumi is as the guy loses consciousness. Waking up after two full days, Tatsumi thinks it was all a stupid dream sequence. Then he sees Hilda and her young master in his room. This surprises him. Hilda tells him, starting from today, let us raise a fine demon lord to destroy humanity. One day at school, Tatsumi has baby Beel, the tiny demon lord, with him. Asking him to choose which one between a stuffed toy and a preserved frog from the science lab does he like. Baby Beel throws the stuffed toy away and picks up the preserved frog. Next, Kayuki asks the baby which side of the anatomical model he likes. The normal human side or the skin side, showing a person's insides. Baby Beel prefers the skin side. Takayuki presumes that the baby only likes things that no normal baby would like. Dude, the child is a future demon lord. Of course he won't like the regular stuff. The next day, Takayuki asks Tatsumi why he brings baby Beel to school with him. He replies that his house is off limits, sharing with him that Hilda formally introduced herself to his family the other day. The way Hilda introduces herself and the fact that she has baby Beel with her made his family think that Tatsumi has a kid with Hilda, and that kid is baby Beel. They are all convinced that he's the father, since according to them, the baby has Tatsumi's eyes. Tatsumi tries to reason out that it is all a misunderstanding, but his family already buys the idea of him having a kid with Hilda. Takayuki comments saying, What kind of romantic comedy setup is this? Tatsumi replies that it ain't some pleasure cruise, and that his life is on the line. He recalls how he confronted Hilda, asking her whether she was really serious about living in the house. She calmly replies that there's nothing that can be done, as her master chose him after all. As previous experience proves, if Baby Beel is away from him, he throws a tantrum. And we've learned from the last episode just how bad a demon lord's meltdown can be. Hilda explains that the shockwave from Baby Beel's crying contains considerable destructive power. When he gets 15 meters away from him, the electric waves from the baby's voice rise to a fatal level. Tatsumi reports all of this to Takayuki, but all his friend really cares about is where Hilda slept last night. At the rooftop where the two often hang out, a bunch of second-year gang leaders suddenly appear. They are there because rumors of Tatsumi bringing a baby with him circulated throughout the school. They think now is the chance to finally beat the demon ogre, since a baby will probably slow him down. 
This does not seem to be the case though. Tatsumi still beats them all up quickly, leaving them no room to counterattack. Later that day, when Tatsumi gets home, he is greeted by the sight of Hilda peacefully having dinner with his family. He still isn't used to having her around. His mom asks him to take a bath first before having dinner and offers to take care of baby Beale while he takes a bath. Hilda assures him that the distance between the living room and the bathroom is barely 15 meters, so he should be fine. Arendaron suddenly joins Tatsumi in the bathtub. The demon came there under Hilda's orders to report to him the distance between him and baby Beale. One wrong step from him could result in the baby producing shockwaves. Under such pressure, there is no way he could have stayed relaxed in the bath. It's been a long and tiring day, and baby Beale is finally asleep in Tatsumi's room. He and Hilda are watching over the baby when Arandaron comes into the room. And with Takayuki within him, Tatsumi asks what he was doing there, and he says that he is worried about him being under the same roof as Hilda. Takayuki comments that the baby doesn't look like a demon lord when he is sleeping. Hilda says not to worry, since he will grow up to become a demon lord capable of destroying all of humanity. Takayuki adds that the future of humanity now rests on Tatsumi's shoulder, making him laugh. They all laugh at this until Tatsumi asks why it has to be him. Arandaron says that since Baby Beale is the demon lord, he only cares about those with great strength. Tatsumi's ego is fed by this, and he replies that he fits the category. Arandaron continues to say that barbaric, ruthless, and defiant bastards who think nothing of their fellow man are perfect. The stronger and more ruthless a person is, the more Baby Beale likes them. Tatsumi concludes that if he finds someone more brutal than him, Baby Beale will get attached to that other person and he'll finally be free. Meanwhile, in the demon realm, Baby Beale's dad, the great demon lord, is playing a tabletop game with other demons. He seems to be having way too much fun, but the others already find him annoying. An underling approaches him, and he asks about how things are with Baby Beale. The underling shows him a photo of Tatsumi, and the great demon lord comments that he has a pretty barbaric face. Baby Beale's dad hands over his son's favorite toy for the underling to send to the human realm. Back in the human world, Tatsumi goes around his school, looking for someone stronger and more brutal than him. His efforts are in vain though, for he has yet to find an individual more brutal than him. Hilda arrives at his school, bringing with her Baby Beale's favorite toy. She comes to his classroom, but only Takayuki is there to talk to her. She asks him where Tatsumi is and he replies that he is off finding someone more brutal than him. A second year student attempts to hit on, or fight, Hilda, and she easily defeats him. The student is sent flying away from school. The other students who witness this runs away from the scene, saying that she's too strong. Tatsumi hears this and thinks that finally, there is someone more brutal than him. It turns out to be just Hilda. She asks him if he's already found someone, and he replies that he hasn't. On the other hand, Baby Beale is in good spirits after finally reuniting with his favorite toy. Hilda asks him if there isn't someone who's like a great demon lord that rules the school. Tatsumi surmises that if she's talking about the lord of a school, then it must be the principal. He doesn't know what kind of person he is, but if he's the principal of the worst school in the country, then he must be strong. They visit the principal's office. When they arrive, the principal isn't exactly the kind of man they were expecting him to be. He seems rather timid, so they take their leave. While passing through the hallway, Baby Beale is starting to get hungry. Since he's a baby and can't even say actual words yet, the only thing he can do to make the people around him know that he's hungry is to cry and produce shockwaves. Tatsumi wonders what upset the baby this time, but Hilda correctly guesses that her master must be hungry by now. She says that she's already packed lunch for him, but Tatsumi left it in the classroom, which she destroyed earlier while beating up the second year. The gang goes to the cafeteria, which is as rowdy as ever. Hilda buys a carton of cow's milk for baby Beale, but because the students there are so unruly, one of them nudges the baby's hands and the milk ends up falling to the ground. It gets stomped on by another student, spilling its contents. Baby Beale sees his precious milk go to waste and cries while producing a shockwave. Later that day, Tatsumi and Baby Beale are hanging out by the river. Tatsumi shares some words of wisdom with the baby. He says that a man can't go crying easily, plus he's a demon lord. According to him, the tougher it gets, the less a man should cry. This is because tears wash away the pain and suffering, but those emotions become weapons when one truly needs them. He tells the baby that if he wants to cry, laugh it off instead. All of a sudden, two men riding a motorcycle snatch Baby Beale away. Tatsumi chases after them, worried about what would happen if they end up being 15 meters away from each other. He runs as fast as he can. The baby is about to cry, but Tatsumi shouts and tells him not to cry. While he is chasing the motorcycle, Aranderon appears, running beside him. 
He asks Tatsumi to use him, and he does. The guys in the motorcycle glance at their mirror and think that Tatsumi finally stopped chasing them. Suddenly, Arandaron stands in their way, and the motorcycle crashes into him. The riders and baby Beale are sent flying away. Thankfully, the baby lands on his butt and doesn't cry, even though it must have hurt a bit. The two motorcycle riders check up on Arandaron. Imagine their surprise when they see him split open and out came Tatsumi. Tatsumi links with baby Beale, with some of the baby's powers temporarily transferred to him, which he collected in his fist. In just one punch, he delivers a decisive blow to the two riders. After that brief incident, Tatsumi and Baby Beale are now on their way home. Tatsumi now thinks things will be peaceful, but unexpectedly, the baby's favorite toy gets broken, which sends him crying loudly and producing shockwaves. Will this shockwave-producing phase even end? Ever since being chosen as the Demon Lord's human parent, Tatsumi has a lot of challenging times ahead of him. Being tasked to raise the Demon Lord who will soon destroy humanity is not an easy feat after all. Luckily for him, he has Hilda, Arandaron, and Takayuki to rely on. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.